Welcome to your English 8 concept video. This video takes the place of your class lecture, saving class time for valuable discussion. Treat this video as you would a class lecture. Pay attention carefully and take notes. If you wish, pause the video or rewind it to understand something you missed. Bring questions to class. These videos assume that you understand many literary concepts taught in 7th grade. If you feel uncertain about these concepts from then, feel free to review 7th grade videos. Okay? Let's go. Today we're discussing the short fiction concepts of round and flat characters. To begin, let's review character. A character is a literary representation of a person composed of behavioral traits and motivations. Importantly, as we focus on character, we will focus on traits. Traits are those abstract qualities of a person that describe their behavior, their attitudes, and their tendencies. A trait could be something like courage. Somebody could be endowed with courage as a virtue we would call them courageous. Importantly, as we discuss character, we must discuss character in terms of traits. It's all well and good to summarize how a character behaves and to give evidence from the story, but all of that evidence must serve the conclusion of a character trait. And many character traits exist. In fact, we don't have a distinct list of character traits. We could talk about somebody being courageous, or kind, or selfish, somebody having arrogance, or brilliance or any number of others. We must find specific terms used to describe the character in such a way that our audience will understand our analysis. Now that we understand that character is summarized by traits, you can realize that characters come in all sorts of different types according to traits. They might display one trait or several. Their traits may change or not. And that brings us to the four character types. Four character types exist in literature, static, dynamic, round, and flat. Today, we will focus on round and flat characters. Let's begin with the flat character definition. A flat character is a character that only displays a single defining character trait or a set of closely related traits. This is a superficial character the author does not demonstrate with complexity. A flat character doesn't change and never displays any sort of complexity or depth or contradiction. They only demonstrate a single character trait. You must remember, however, that if you're describing a character as kind and generous, and you're saying that those are two traits, they are actually a set of closely related traits. So even though you might find other adjectives or nouns to describe character traits within a person, realize the point at which those traits are pretty much the same. This would make the character flat. And that would contrast with a round character. A round character is a character that displays multiple different character traits, often exhibiting traits which conflict or contradict each other. Round characters are complex and realistic, as real people often demonstrate contradiction. Understanding the definition of these character types is important, but only as far as it serves our writing. If you understand the character definitions and you understand the story you're reading, you should be able to write about character. Let's talk about writing about round characters first. If you wish to write about a round character, you must complete two tasks. First, you must find evidence for one character trait. Second, you must find evidence for a character trait that significantly differs from the first. You may recall from the previous video on dynamic characters that dynamic characters display two character traits a beginning trait and an ending trait. Round characters are different because round characters demonstrate both traits at the same time. They do not change, they merely demonstrate that contradiction at all times. The framework looks like this. We would pick a character, find evidence, and evidence that seem to demonstrate two different character traits. Let's use Mrs. Flowers from the selection from Maya Angelou. Mrs. Flowers demonstrates character traits here. My imagination boggled the punishment I would deserve if in fact I did abuse a book of Mrs. Flowers. Death would be too kind and brief. That's one piece of evidence describing Mrs. Flowers' character. We also see she said she had made them expressly for me and that she had a few in the kitchen that I could take to my brother, referring to the cookies that Mrs. Flowers makes. These two pieces of evidence seem to demonstrate contradiction or contrast in Mrs. Flowers' character. The first demonstrates her severity. 
they show that Mrs. Flowers is a severe, disciplined, and demanding woman. The second evidence about baking cookies shows her kindness, shows that she is a kind and generous person and that she cares. These character traits are contrasting, if not contradictory, and do demonstrate complexity in Mrs. Flowers' character. That makes her round. Let's talk about flat characters. The defense for a flat character is to simply claim that the character never demonstrates more than a single trait, and support with a discussion of the trait the character does demonstrate. This discussion will be especially strong if you use several pieces of evidence. Let's discuss this in example from the monkey's paw. We can discuss the Sergeant Major as a flat character. The Sergeant Major demonstrates his character traits through a number of pieces of evidence, such as this. Better where you are, said the Sergeant Major, shaking his head. He is referring to the travel that he has gone on. The whites claim that they would like to travel, but he states that they are better where they are. He also talks about the monkey's paw in tones so grave that a hush fell upon the group. Other pieces of evidence show that the Sergeant Major is anxious. He seems afraid. He seems timid. He does not want to travel anymore, and he is afraid of the monkey's paw. We can find a number of pieces of evidence that show the Sergeant Major's anxiety, but importantly, he never demonstrates anything else. We can infer that he has other character traits, but Jacob's story does not give us enough evidence to understand those character traits specifically. We only understand his anxiety. The Sergeant Major is a flat character. When discussing character types, you must remember three key points. First, find clear words to describe traits. Use adjectives and or nouns to describe traits and make sure that those words are specific and useful. Do not simply call a character good or bad. Call a character kind, generous, naive. Find specific evidence for each trait. Specific evidence means quoted material that you could find on a specific page and make reference to it in your writing. You need not quote all of your evidence, but you should be able to find evidence on a specific page or pages and make reference to it in your writing. Review the character type definitions. Understand the difference between a round and a flat character and make sure that you understand your requirements in defense in a character analysis. If you do this, you can engage in a sophisticated and clear discussion of character type in any story.